dishwasher, not drying dishes. Model number is WDF310PAAS4 Whirlpool dishwasher. We're gonna swap out the element because the tech that was here prior deemed that the element was bad. Gonna get this tray out of the way. It just rolls off. Pretty simple. Here's our element. There's definitely some charring right here. Like it. Yep. Let's go ahead and pull this dishwasher out. Gotta remount that. This just slides out. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the circuit for the dishwasher. Yours may plug in, or you may have to do it at the breaker box. Looking at the back of the dishwasher, our heating element has two wires going to it. There's one, and the other one. Just to test this, one lead to one end of the element. We've got our meter set to ohm. Here's our other test lead. And we have open lines still, but the visual was actually enough for me to condemn this heating element. So let's swap it out. Move the test leads. You can use a wrench to break it loose. Don't even need a wrench for that one. And then this should just pop out. two hooks that hold the element. Slide this under the... So when I pulled this out, you can see this thing's just busted. Oh yeah. Got our new dishwasher heating element from Whirlpool. It's supposed to come with new boots or it only came with one one locking nut we can reuse the old one though that's fine part number we're working with is w1058394 gonna go under under bend it a little bit and then this goes in these tabs you don't want this falling and burning a hole in your dishwasher. Very important. Secure it in the tabs. Those two are flat. We can go back and put our nuts on. Tighten them down as much as you can with your hand. We've got two people. You can also tilt it forward, which helps lining it up. It's still have dishes in it, obviously. And I'm just gonna do about half a turn. There's no need to torque on these. should be good. We'll be tested as well. Plug your wires back in. Put our screws back in. Nice and mounted. Reapply power. 
gonna test it real quick and we're gonna make sure the heating element comes on and we're gonna test for leaks. Just a normal wash, high temp, and we can cancel once I verify there's no leaks. Uh, we know that our blue wires or our heater wires back in about 15 minutes. Check the meter, already checked the leaks, we're all good. Another option to test the heater is to go in the service diagnostic cycle mode. Um, instructions are always in the text manual, but. Seven amps, 805 watts divided by 120. Sounds about right. We're good to go.